Hi, good morning, good evening to all of you wherever you are. In today's video, I'm going to discuss different types of business analysts. As I've heard from many of my training participants that when they look at the business analyst profile and the job descriptions, they find that the companies are expecting different kinds of skill sets for the same JD title, which is business analyst. And it's very confusing for everyone as to why in some of the cases we need to have Python, R and similar kind of skills. Whereas for some of them, they look at the reporting skills, for example, knowing about the Power BI and the Tableau and so on. In some of the cases, even they need the SQL skills. Whereas in some of the cases, they're only looking at requirements modeling, Jira, user stories, use cases, and the knowledge of HI. What is this all about? I mean, why there is so much confusion in the industry about types of business analysts? So let me talk about this today. So let's clarify all the types of business analysts employed by the IT industry. So let's start by understanding first that business analysis is a function. It is not just a designation. There are several aspects which are related to business analyst, okay, right from participating in the strategic analysis to execution of the project and the type of the projects which, is, which are being executed by the IT industry. Let's start by looking at the three different types of business analysts which work with a project, starting with the first one, which is a typical IT business analyst profile. Here, a business analyst which is a completely non-programming role where as a business analyst to interact with the stakeholders. For what? For catching the requirements, for detailing it out, for modeling it, like creating prototypes, creating process diagrams and putting it into a document called SRS or BRT. This profile is advertised most of the times and the IBA certifications like ECBA and the business analyst training programs primarily focus on this type of business analyst. But apart from that, you will also encounter types of business analyst where you are looking at programming skills. So this is one of the primary type of business analyst which is employed by the IT industry, which is a non-programming, non-tech business analyst. Then there are two other types which are also being published in the job portals. One which is a business analyst who works on data analytics project or data analysis project. There, you need to have skills which are related to data analytics. Like you need to know machine learning basics, you need to know artificial intelligence. You also might need to have R, Python kind of skills. Now that's a completely different profile compared to the one I described earlier. In this case, you need to also know programming. The third type of business analyst is more, do, more to do with the reporting part. So you are asked to work on reporting requirements of the customer. These reporting requirements can be simple to very complex. It could be as complex as creating a data warehouse and creating analytics reports or intelligence reports. In that case, you need to learn about the visualization tools like Power BI, Tableau, even Python has the libraries to create visual charts. You also need to understand what are the different data analysis techniques. Something called exploratory data analysis is also going to be very useful. So these are the primarily three types of business analysts who work on different kinds of projects. Now, from here on, you can move on to more senior business analyst roles where you need to start looking at gap analysis. You need to look at strategic analysis tools like business model canvas, business capability analysis, and so on and so forth. And that is where the certifications like CBAP and CCBA from IIBA are very helpful. Even PMI PBA is one of such certifications. So I hope this clarifies the different types of business artists which are generally published on job portals. So when you are looking at a JD, please look at the fine details so that you can apply to the right kind of job. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it is going to be helpful to you. See you in the next video.